Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my channel, Runaway Slave. This channel was created primarily to promote my self-published masterpiece. The N-word is no secret in the service. I wrote this book after I spent over 10 years as an officer in the United States Secret Service. During this time, I met a lot of interesting people, been a lot of interesting places, seen many things, but more than anything, I learned about true foundational or institutionalized workplace racism, what it is and how it affects my people. So I've been going through chapters of the book and now I'm on chapter 15, which is titled, Damn, That's George Bush. One day I was assigned to work under the Truman balcony. Most of the pictures that you see of the White House are of the Truman balcony. The day that I was assigned to work there, I heard over my radio that President Bush was on foot walking to my location. Oh shit, he's coming to where I'm at, I thought. He was, he was only walking outside of the White House where the Truman balcony is located. I only had a few months on the job, so I didn't have a clue what to do when he showed up. I waited to see him to relay the information as far as his whereabouts on my radio. He walked over to the area to the area where I was standing. To be honest, I was kind of starstruck. I'm not a big fan of many modern day celebrities or public figures, but this day, I was in awe that I was this close to the President of the United States of America. Okay, so check this out. This is a short chapter in my book. This is like at the, at the, at the beginning, at the beginning of my employment in the United States Secret Service, I'm assigned, I'm working at the White House. And it just so happened, I'm at a location where this is my first time I'm about to see President George Bush. This is, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, damn, you know, like for real, you gotta understand, I'm from Trenton, New Jersey. Um, just being around the president is, is not something that I had in my plans. It's not something that I planned on doing or that I even aspired or wanted to do. But it was just like, damn, this day, I'm here. I'm standing right here, and he's about to come right here. Now, I was kind of starstruck when I first seen dude, for real. You know what I'm saying? When I seen him, he walked up, and he even started talking. Because he came out, he had these, they had these little dogs. I forget their names. Beasley or Baisley, something like that. It was two of them. One of them was really energetic. This one, you can read about it in my book. Um, this one was running around, and... Um, he came and he said something about the dog. It's basically about the dog trying to catch a squirrel. So we stood there, he kicked a few words, and I was like, you know, acknowledge him, like, yeah, you know. But it was crazy that he was there because to me, it was almost like seeing somebody, like, it was like seeing the Shaitan or something, or like Suge Knight in the Death Row days. You know what I'm saying? Where it was like, oh, shoot, that's him. You know what I mean? Not saying that this man was the Shaitan or whatever, but I'm just saying it was like crazy to see the president, and especially George Bush. Now, you know us black people, you know our relationship with these, these, these uh, Bush and how we feel or how our brains are molded to feel about them and what it, it really is. You know what I'm saying? We, we look at them like they're like, just the worst. Like, this is like the lowest. Um, this, is, this is like walking racism right here. This is what's beaten to our brains, not knowing that this is all of them. But... That's a whole nother topic, but it was just it was just crazy for him to be standing right there, right in front of me. I'm doing the job, and I'm, I'm I'm here, and I'm somewhere where I never thought I never wanted to see the president, and now I'm standing right here, and the president right here by me, and I got a gun. You know what I mean? It just was crazy to see George Bush. After a while, he did what he did. He came outside to get some fresh air, chilled out, watched the dog a little bit, then boom, he went on his way. He walked off, and that was it. All right, easy. Now, if you want to read this masterpiece, again, click up in the banner or click the link in the description. You can get this book, read it word for word. All these chapter, chapters that I'm going over on this YouTube channel, you can read them word for word in the book. And I get a little bit much more in depth in the book, okay? Easy.